I'm just going to explain really quickly. If you tried that uh, extra question, I'm going to give you an answer. Uh, can I have just half a minute of silence, Matthew? Give a very resonant voice. I'm just making a video. So if you're driving and someone comes out on the road, so these little kids run out in front of this car, you're driving along, you don't see them, and you have to take time to react. So that reaction time, while you're reacting, the car is still moving at a constant velocity, no acceleration. So at a constant velocity, it's just V, and this is like your initial velocity, because it stays the same times the time. They said TR, that just means the time for your reaction. So you have to have that distance comes in first. Then you see them, ah, you, the brake is hit, and you're slowing down over that time. So that's now accelerated motion. So we can use, there are different ways to do this, but if you use the second formula, and you manipulate it, you'll get Vf squared minus Vi squared over 2a. And if you just take those two and add them together, because we're just adding the, the, the two displacements, we're just adding together, right? It takes, so it's this distance while you're reacting, and this distance while you're slowing. So if you add those two together, it's a bit weird because this becomes this. What happened to the VF, Thomas? Exactly. If you do get stopped, your VF must be zero. So we can, VF squared is zero. So we just leave the negative VI squared over 2A. And that comes here. And then we can just kind of get rid of the plus because this is a negative. We say this minus this. And then if you put it in the weird British symbols, VI becomes V naught. It's actually called V naught. And TR, which is reaction time. And V naught again over 2A. No numbers. I love questions with no numbers.